Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Kathy J Show, everybody. I am Kathy J, and we are so happy that you're joining us today. We really appreciate you tuning in and spending this half hour with us every day. It means the world to us. Um, remember, everybody, you can go and connect with us on social media. Don't forget to check out our website, kathyjshow.com. You can catch any of the shows you missed and even replay this show today because you're going to want to for more people here in Colorado especially. So today we're talking about something that's been buzzing a lot in the news lately. It's the newest defense in our fight against COVID-19. It's called monoclonal antibodies treatment, and it sounds like a big and complicated medical term, and it is. <laughs> so I asked two of my favorite medical doctors to come in and help us understand it better. And you know these guys. Come on. <laughs> Please welcome to the Kathy J Show, Dr. Joseph We're Ramos back. and Dr. James Hoven. Yay! Hello. I love you guys. You guys are so amazing. Um, you, you're so accredited in the field of medicine and being doctors yourself, <laughs> so there is no one else I want to talk to about this. Thank you. Thanks. Let's get into it. Tell everybody what the monoclonal antibodies are, Dr. Ramos. Well, yeah, I'll start. Thanks so much. So yeah. uh, the monoclonal antibodies have really uh, hit the press recently because in the fight to decrease COVID, yes. they're really all the governments across the, you know, the, the United States is looking at basically three basic ways to decrease it. Okay. There's the obvious in vaccination. Yes. There's the obvious in, you know, the um, protective equipment we wear okay. and so on and so forth. But monoclonal antibodies are on there too. And now monoclonal antibodies have really kind of shot to the top. Yes. And the reason is, is because you can use them once you've just been exposed, post-exposure prophylaxis. So once you've been exposed to prevent uh -huh. or once you're sick to treat. Yeah. And they did this great study in the New England Journal of Medicine. And what they showed was it decreased the risk of hospitalization or death by up to 80%. Yeah, that's huge. I, you know, I, I was listening to one of your podcasts and you were like seven <laughs> to eight people out of 10 are being saved and yes. not going into the hospital because they're getting the monoclonal antibodies. That's huge, especially right now when you're hearing all these horror stories that ICU beds are filling up and there's a, it's a hard way to treat you. And um, so are, is this, is our monoclonal antibodies something that are made in a lab? How do you get them? Well, <laughs> so, yeah. so really there's something that's been used all along. They're not new, which is great. Okay. And what it is is that people that are infected uh, you know, like, so you think of the purpose of a vaccine is to get your body basically to make antibodies. Okay. So should you get the disease or the virus, it kills it. So that's what happens like with the flu vaccine. Um, you're right. giving me a little of the flu, so my body mm -hmm. starts to create the, its own antibodies to attack that. Exactly. Okay. So then what they did is they pulled those antibodies out of, of COVID people and okay. basically reproduced them and said, hey, these are defenders like an antibiotic. That, yes, you know, they're right. Antibodies. Little soldiers right yes. here. Right. And then you just put them into people and they run around for about 90 days and they just look for COVID specifically, that's it. Wow. And then they're out of your system. Okay, and it, so explain why the FDA is issuing an emergency authorization for these. Well, for a couple reasons. First of all, uh, the COVID numbers have just exploded. Yes, I right. Mean, you know, you hear it this morning on the news, I'm hearing all about it. It's COVID, COVID, COVID. And I think we're all kind of starting to get a little callous to the COVID thing, right? Right, it's, it is. It's, it's the headline every uh, day. It's yeah. going up, it's going down. This state has it now. It's it's everywhere, right? It's beating on us. And and, and Dr. Hoven and I have always been focused on wellness and optimizing life. And and you know, even with, with the law firm, we just love to help people. Yeah, you and do. one day we were in the mountains and we were walking and we were talking and we just started talking about how powerful this was in helping people because imagine pre preventing eight out of 10 deaths or hospitalizations. So they started approving sites and we got on it very early and we were fortunate enough to be one of the recognized state and federally approved sites. Yeah. And um, and it's and we've seen it firsthand now. We're like, we've got to share this. Yes. It's it's just you know when you have something so good, you just have to share it. That that's what monoclonal antibodies are. I think to both of us. Right. Absolutely. What, yeah, yes. Right. And and um, <laughs> Dr. Hoven, don't worry, we're getting to you when we come back. No, no, oh, no. He's no, doing Rick. a great job. Him only. Him only. But you're right. Like to see two doctors so passionate about something, I want to know why. And more, I want to know more about it. So we're going to find out more about it when we come back, everybody. So much more to cover, like where you get it, how much it is, how you get it in yet, all that. We'll be right back. Kathy J. Ramos Law is an official partner of the Kathy J. Show. He's a medical doctor and a lawyer. Ramos Law, what makes us different makes us better. Welcome back to the Kathy J Show, everybody. So in this half hour, we're going to be talking about monoclonal antibodies and the treatment and how it helps fight against COVID-19. We have 
Believe it or not, do you believe this? Dr. Ramos is here on the couch and Dr. Hoven. They are one of the few of the doctors here in Colorado that are offering the monoclonal antibodies. So James, tell us why this is so important to you. You are very passionate about this. It, it is something that really means a lot to me because from my background and training on the chiropractic side, we like to look at things from a holistic perspective, yeah. super important. And we know how important exercise is. We know how important diet is. We know how important building a natural immunity is. This thing, COVID is a little bit different. And yeah. because the base level of health of our people overall isn't maybe where it could be or it should be. We're all under all this stress. We're yes. doing all this thing. Sometimes that leaves us more susceptible mm -hmm. to these kinds of issues. Yes. And so when we found out that there was essentially what I consider like a special forces unit. So, you know, you have the army, you have the overarching, and then you have special forces. Uh -huh. They have one job. That's they get a mission. They go after the mission. They accomplish the miss mission. And then they, they leave and go back to doing their thing. Yeah. yeah. It this, is yeah, I'm this sorry. is it. Yeah, yeah no, this, this is, is it. it. Monoclonal, the, the monoclonal antibody, they are the special forces. Yeah. One thing designed, go find COVID, destroy it. Yeah, then yes. who doesn't want that? Who so, doesn't want that? Right, that's exactly what we want. Go in there and get it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dr. Ramos, you have a personal story as to why this is very passionate for you. Please explain that. Yeah, so uh, in high school, I went to high school in a little bitty town. Um, our basketball team was very good. He lived in Radiator <coughs> Springs that you yeah. see on Disney's <laughs> Graduating class thing. of eight, yeah. <laughs> You're right. So it's a little bitty town, and so you, you know, I, you become very, very, very close with the few yeah. friends that are there to have. Right. And um, my dear friend, Roy Johnson, him and I were the starting point guards on the uh, basketball team. Look at you. Here's a picture of Roy, and uh, he truly was uh, just a powerhouse for Austin, an all-state basketball player. Uh, went on to be an engineer, uh, family, four kids, a uh, year older than me, perfectly healthy, and he died of COVID. And what was really touching to me was, um, you know, he went through his, his struggle and he put, up, he put up his fight and, and unfortunately it was his time. But what was really touching to me was when I went to his funeral, his brother told me, he's like, man, if I just knew about this stuff this doctor was giving. I said, what's that? Yeah. What are you talking about, Chet? And he said, well, you know, there's this thing this doctor's giving here in town. And he said, two of Roy's friends got COVID. And he said, they're in worse shape and they've got high blood pressure and they've got all these things. And they went over there and both of them felt good within a couple of days. He said, it was just amazing. He said, I printed off a flyer. He like went to his website, he printed off what he does. He started just handing it out to people. And he said, you know, I think Roy would be here today had I known about this when he first got sick. Yeah. So of course, you know, I got to looking into it and it was exactly what um, Dr. Hove and I had talked about because I told him how passionate I was about uh, the monoclonal antibodies and we had talked about it and that was like that message to me mm -hmm. you know, like this is this is yeah. what, are you, yeah. what are you waiting for right we can't let anyone else die yeah, when, yeah. What when are you it's available for? yeah you, you know if you've been exposed you're eligible if you're sick with symptoms within 10 days you're eligible okay and and that to change it, that's literally, you know, it's something we say, oh, changing lives. This is hmm. this is saving lives. It is saving lives. And and you just briefly touched on, mm -hmm. on the stipulations to get it and where you need to be in the window. Let's get back into that yes. in detail <laughs> when we come back from this commercial break, everybody. We'll be right back. Thank you. Kathy J. J. Oakwood Homes is an official partner of the Kathy J Show. Oakwood Homes, building happiness. Welcome back to the Kathy J Show, everybody. I am very honored today to have on the couch with me, joining me, Dr. Joseph Ramos and Dr. James Hoven, two doctors that are here making sure that we all understand how easy it is to get these monoclonal antibodies and how much they do when they get into your body. So let's get into it. Okay, so do you need a positive COVID test to come get a monoclonal antibody treatment? No, there are a couple different ways to be treated with monoclonals. First of all, age 12 and above 88 pounds. Okay. Okay. Now there are exceptions below that, but they're very specific exceptions. Uh huh. Um, but if you have a positive test yep. and symptoms for 10 days or within 10 days with an associated high risk factor, so overweight, high blood pressure, asthma, pulmonary disease, any immunocompromised, some mm -hmm. medicines you may be using, you're eligible. Okay. So again, positive test, uh, positive test, symptoms within 10 days come in. Okay. What but, about contact <clears throat> with somebody? Aha. Uh -huh. So okay. close contact is defined as if you spend 15 or more minutes within six feet of someone. Okay. And it's cumulative 15 minutes. So if you're in the same house, 
for five minutes in the, at breakfast, five at lunch, and five at dinner, that's 15 minutes within 24 that's hours. That's good to know. Yes. Okay, that's within, really pardon, good to know. Yeah. Within yep. six feet of someone with a positive test, if you fall into any sort of high-risk category, again, as simple as being overweight, our government considers that high risk. Yeah. Uh, diabetes, you know, asthma, some of the things I've mentioned, you're, then you can get them as well. That's called post-exposure prophylaxis. Then you don't even have symptoms yet. Right. I was just going to say, I don't have symptoms, but I can come get it. You can come get it then. Okay. And in those people that, that received that in the study they did, 92% never became infected with COVID. What? Nine, over 9 out of 10 people who were within 6 feet of someone with COVID for more than 15 minutes never got the disease when they received post-exposure prophylaxis. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, now, the one thing we have to say, and that's yeah. this, everybody always asks, well, listen, if they run around in your system for 90 days and defend you for 90 days, and if I can get them just because I was near somebody, why can't I just come in and get them? Right. Can't do that. Can't do that. It doesn't take the place of vaccination. Vaccination is to build up your own body's immunities. Okay. And so this is more of a save your butt type criteria. <laughs> okay, okay. So what about the vaccination? How does that apply with when I'm getting to, when I, if I can get them? Yeah, great, okay. great question. So if you have not been vaccinated, of course, eligible for yeah. monoclonal antibodies. If you have been vaccinated and you have a positive COVID test with, with symptoms uh, or positive COVID test, you're allowed to come in and get it. Okay. And what we're seeing in our clinics, and, and Dr. Hovind will cover that, is the great majority of people that we're treating have actually been vaccinated but they're getting COVID. Yes, with the breakthrough <coughs> cases. You yes. hear that every day too in a headline in the news, yes. Tons of breakthrough cases. And so um, so vaccination with illness, you come in and get it. Now okay. the one exception is, is if you've recently been vaccinated and you've gotten your second vaccination within two weeks and then you're exposed to someone, you can't come get it. Okay. Because the idea is you should already have built your own immunities. So then that post-exposure prophylaxis uh, that's okay. in the vaccinated person with no symptoms, we don't treat those people. Okay. We consider them self-vaccinated. I would say, yes, so you're, you're self-vaccinated. You don't need any. <laughs> yeah, self um, right? yeah. But I would say more or less, if you're worried, still make the phone call. Absolutely. To and, see, and say, this is where we're at. This is when I had a vaccine, blah, blah, blah. And just see what you guys are saying. Because then starts the process of when you come in. Right, Dr. Right. Hoven? Absolutely. Okay, so explain that process. Because it, you, you administer it through an IV. And there's a reason why, right? Right. Well, potentially. So... It, for as an example, we give you two different cases. We had one woman who came in and she was horribly, horribly afraid. She was literally sitting in our chair crying and she's someone who's very close to us. Uh -huh. and, and I said, why are you crying? And she said, I'm so afraid. I'm so scared of COVID. I said, I said, are you afraid of the treatment? She said, no, I'm afraid of COVID. I'm afraid of dying because she had been vaccinated and she was just so afraid that if that didn't work, yeah. what's this going to do? Mm -hmm. And so in her case, we did an IV on her. Uh -huh. And essentially, that, I think that's putting our special forces yes. directly into the system. Yes. Right? And right. now they're, they're on the battlefield getting to work right away. Yeah, special right forces away. are called in. Right. Yeah. In fact, we got to kind of slow the drip down so that all the forces don't rush in too fast. Right? It's all yes. on a timing bit, which we'll get into. But right. anyway, it was so fascinating because within two days after having that procedure done, literally within two days, she's up cleaning her house and she's doing all these things. Her life had changed, but I had to literally, part of the treatment right, was, was having the conversation of talking about fear yes. of saying, yeah. we are giving you the very best treatment on planet earth that is known right now in your situation, you're getting it. Right. So now you have confidence in your body's ability to do what it does, and then you're going to be great. Yes. So that was one side. On the other side, we had a 92 year old and imagine that's considered a death sentence. Yes, virtually. it is. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And so this, <clears throat> this beautiful we'll call her young 92 year old right. woman comes in and she is wrecked well because her little veins are so hard to get with an iv uh -huh. there's a, a program or a protocol that you can do it with syringes and so now you just get syringes of the medicine done in four different body parts at the same time so now you're putting the fluid in there okay it's just not as quite as direct so there's two ways to do it kids can get it it's it's amazing so before we get to the kid uh, how's the 92 year old feeling amazing yeah that's the her thing, daughter everybody. her daughter sent back i can't believe this is so good thank you because they thought that this might be a holiday season without, without her. this yes. blessed little soul in their lives and so let's talk about speaking of blessed little souls danielle <laughs> who um, works with us as uh, she her daughter um, got got COVID. There she is. There she is. Getting yes. the treatment. Um, so she, I remember Danielle saying she was having a problem. Gianna was having, that's the little girl right there, was having a problem breathing one night. Uh, two days later, that morning, she gets the, the, the monoclonal antibodies treatment. I talked to her that night 
And I said, how's she doing? How's everything? And she, and she moved the camera. And Gianna, that girl you saw there that couldn't breathe the day before, yes. was doing cartwheels and back to doing her <laughs> gymnastics dance routine in the living room. Yes. So that right there, it's amazing. The response is really amazing. The 92-year-old uh, that Dr. Hovind spoke about, um, her family called the next day, her daughter called, and uh, was, was tearful with the clinic staff and said, I can't believe that mom's up cleaning the house. You don't expect that. No, and, and, and it's so aggressive. The monoclonal antibodies are so aggressive. The reason that we do it rate limited is, as Dr. Hovind mentioned there with how we drip it in, is because the virus starts getting killed so quickly that it starts releasing endotoxin. So oh. a dead virus, like body, you know, picture, you know, layman's people, we have right. dead body parts floating around right, through the system. Right. So we have to control the killing, so we drip it in slowly to That's make sure. That's why you administer yeah. slowly, or Absolutely. through syringes slowly where you're watching them go in, because yeah. Absolutely. All right, everybody, yes, it's as amazing as you're hearing right now. So if you're interested in getting the monoclonal, monoclonal antibodies treatment, here's the thing. We just want to make sure that you put this number in your arsenal because Absolutely. it's going to be a long winter. Who knows when we're going to be through this fight? But there is an answer here in Denver to help you get over it. Now, 720-295-1229 is the number. Keep that in your pocket, everybody, to make your appointment. It's at fitmdusa.com. The doctors, they're going to hang out with us because, of course, I have to ask them how much this is. We'll be right back. <laughs> Kathy J. The Colorado Lottery is an official partner of the Kathy J Show. Colorado Lottery, play on. Kathy J. Welcome back to the Kathy J Show. The half hour goes so fast, everybody. I hope you've learned as much as I have this half hour. I know that I'm keeping that number right in my back pocket to know that I could, I'm, I'll be okay. I just got back from a plane trip, and on the plane, I was like. If I get COVID, I know exactly where I'm going, you know, because because of you two and the monoclonal antibodies being offered here in Colorado. Dr. Ramos, what are some misconceptions you want to clear up really fast? You know, the biggest misconception that's out there is that this uh, monoclonal antibodies are somehow like the vaccine. Okay, they're not. They're not at all. Uh, the vaccine, you know, of course, uh, everybody knows the messenger RNA portion of it, and they, you hear about it going into cells and this and that. And I want to get into the politics of anti-vaccine people versus vaccine None people. None of that. But the reason is, uh, with monoclonals, it's so special is it's neither. It's it does not go into your cells. This is just releasing, as Dr. Hofen said a bit ago, you know, the special forces of defenders, they literally run around your bloodstream for 90 days looking for just COVID. If they don't see it, they go away. If they see it, they kill it. It doesn't incorporate in any of your cells. Yes, right. It's not some body changing, transforming treatment. Right. Uh, it's, right. Okay. So it is. It's the. It's as natural as it can be yes. to get your body to be as strong as it can yes. be to fight them. Yes. yes. Okay, Dr. Hoven, tell us. How much is this thing? What does it cost? How do we? How does one get this? So basically, there's a couple of way, things to know before we talk about pricing. Number okay. one is the medicine. There's no, there's no cost for the medicine. Okay. And so as we were pricing it and figuring out what to do, we looked all over the state and all over the country to figure out what averages were. And what we were finding, anywhere from from on the Medicare side, from five or six to seven fifty, seven hundred fifty dollars, uh -huh. yeah. to on the private side up to twenty three hundred dollars. So as we looked yes. at it, we're like, well, what? what we got to do is price it somewhere that takes care of our costs for the team and the time and, and all the, the administration and, the, and right. monitoring and all that kind of stuff. And we thought, what's the price that's fair that we can get this to as many people as possible? So what we came up with, $600 takes care of the entire process for someone. Yeah. And, you know, the, here's a funny thing. We had someone call and say, well, you know what? Um, I can get it at the emergency room and I don't have to pay because, like you said, the med yeah. medication's free, but they're billing your insurance. Right. Right. And so she said, but I have to wait a week and then I have to be a, a winner of a lottery. So right. my name goes in. So I'm that like, well. That doesn't make sense. Your, your life no. is at stake That's here. right. So you yes. can win the lottery by coming into the office. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And just, just taking care office. of yourself. And then we'll give you actually a sheet. A, it's called Super Bill with all the codes on it. So with insurance, then you can send that to your insurance and then they'll reimburse what they reimburse. And we've also applied and are waiting for acceptance from the Colorado program that allows people with no insurance to have this covered by the state. So the ball's in their court now, we've done everything we can, we're just waiting for that. And we're even now looking at bringing this in home to people. So wow. it's just a matter of us finding the providers yeah, and the great. resources. And for an in-home visit, we're gonna just match Medicare's price on that, which is $750. That's awesome, and it seems pretty fair. At the end of the day, you're saving lives. It's exactly what you said at the beginning of the show. Yeah. This treatment saves lives, everybody. So make sure to keep this number with you. If you are right now watching this and you're like, I need them, 720-295-1229. 
book that appointment. The wonderful people at FitMD, they're going to take care of you. They take care of me. Obviously, <laughs> I'm enjoying everything they're giving me. Looking great, by yes, the way. Thank you very you much. Thank so you. It's great. a journey, and it's, it's saving lives. So FitMDUSA.com for more information. Dr. Ramos, Dr. Hoven. Final words, I'll give you like 20 seconds. What do you want? You look awesome. <laughs> you look awesome. <laughs> and you look awesome. <laughs> you guys, make your bodies as strong as you can, okay? So that we can all get through this COVID pandemic together, everybody. So please, Dr. Ramos and Dr. Uh, Hoven, on their, social, on their social media channels, they are always talking about this. So please start following them. You'll learn something every day. Have a good one, you guys.